Oh, wow. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The board would be in this area soon. Well, this will actually be the first to hear reports about that. Guess is what Voyager encountered. Oh! Jesus. Right. Anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. We will. Don't worry. Well, let's find out what they have. Press the U key. Chop. Right, so we have some energy dampening. Actually, this will work. Alright. I'm opening the gate. I look ridiculous. Alright. Oh no. We're too late. Let's tag them out before more gets to be borgified. Uh oh, we're gonna have to stop them. You can't die like this, I'm not going to allow it. Damn. Where are they going? Reinforcements. We're the only ones here. The Reveria is in orbit. I see. And it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. We could rescue them, but something is blocking our transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be everyone. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Colas and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... was a trade colony. 
and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you made it. You have my thanks. I will retrieve the equipment and then set up with the pattern enhancers. Ah, this will work. Now or never. Let's go ahead and get this going. Pattern enhancers are moving. <coughs> I got a moment too soon. I can hear the board moving this way. I need you to signal citizens to come here for transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? As long as we need to. Get the signal. Sorry, give. Yeah. Yeah, no. Ah, oh well. Concentrate fire on the board. We need to keep them away from the civilians. Okay, I gotta change something. The civilians is beam to the ship, Captain. Well, that's good. We're doing good, all right. Oh, wow. All the citizens are on board. Good. Well, that's the last of them. Hang in there, Tavarel. We'll be there soon. Mayor, thank you for your assistance. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. Thank you. We're doing all we can. Call us, you're with me. I'm glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the war take it without a fight. Alright, let's get moving. Alright, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. Don't I know hesitate. I just never expected any board here to come. Yeah, nobody does. It's like a Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects them. Wow. What is that? Is causing the whole thing to show up. I knew that one. We played poker last night. Yeah, a friend of yours? No? Okay. We better get going. There's less and less of this planet that's natural now. Well, there it is. We need to disable that force field. The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. It's been. Eh, never mind. Oh. We need to disable that force field.
Right, let's go ahead and head down there. Oh. The Borger's so, what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with evil. <laughs> evil? Okay. Alright. Or one zero one. Oh, damn! Didn't exactly last long, but I don't want to find out if he did. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain. But we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. Right. Let's beam out. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Right. Can we reconfigure the satellites in the system to send an automated warning? Possibly. But what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Sounds like a solid plan. Helm, lay in a course for the first satellite. Wow. Look at that. Just wow. In the water. Alright, that's the first satellite. Multiple probes inbound. I don't oh. think the board like us hanging around. Ah oh, man, they're doing a number to us. Let's head to the second one. Okay, let's reconfigure this transponder. <laughs> Never thought I'd wish I was back at the academy studying for the astrometrics final. Yeah, no. Oh, shut up. choice we had to go to the last beacon these borg are really doing a number to the ship hopefully we can get ho uh, 
Ah, uh, speech impediment for the win. Anyways, I hope we can actually. Holy crap! Oh, wow. Is the Kinemur renowned, Armitage, and a Defiant? Alright. sent a signal out to Starfleet. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. <laughs> you know, I'm actually glad to see you, you know? There's no way we could have defeated this cube by ourselves. You have handled things well thus far. Excellent thinking on reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. Are we going to attempt to retake Vega? I will be discussing that option with the other captains here, but your priority is to protect the civilians you have on board, as well as to ensure the safety of your crew. The Kitimer will return to Earth's space dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He will have more information for you. Yes, sir. You and your crew have done well. Coles would make a fine addition to your senior staff. Well... Yeah. Yeah, he will. Captain Volok told us to get to Earth's space dock, and... I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. Yeah, I agreed. Warp to... Helm set course to Earth's space dock. Maximum warp. I'm surprised they get still allow me to carry my weapon. Oh. Right. Lieutenant Frederick reporting for duty. Well, reporting, sir. Right, I'm surprised there's no voice actor for him. Uh, let's see here. Yes, I see that there are... Uh, sorry, I read that wrong. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Volok, uh, he granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew on your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask uh, Taggart. Correct. Acting First Officer. Uh, yes, sir, that is correct. Uh, let's see here. I've read the reports. Facing off Klingon Raiders and the Borg Invasion Force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy. Very unusual. Oh, yeah, it's just, you know, above average things of what cadets are supposed to do. Yeah. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. 
bad guy came in, ambushed us, Tiger, uh, Captain Target became a target for us to shoot him at the bridge of an enemy ship, he went completely, and Vega got captured by Borg. Oh, and we saved people. That's enough explanation for one day. Yeah, it's all true. Kinda. Nah, yeah, it's all true. The worry I have statements here from Captains of uh, uh, Volok, Yim, and Will Opposed from Vega Colony collaborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. Yes, I know, fascinating. Also, too, I'm a Starfleet officer. You know, it's in the job description. The one that you made us all sign, in a sense. And you're exactly the kind of Starfleet officer. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I'm not what the Starfleet wants. I am what it needs. Yeah. I know... <laughs> There's a typo! Okay, it's supposed to read, I know the ship you're in may... Uh, might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proved yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Really? Under normal circumstances, I would take you. It would take you years of work to get your own command, but these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I could spare. Ships we could build, but not leaders with courage and honor. Those are harder to find. It's time you try something different. Oh. It's time to try something different. Not tr not time for you. Okay. I need somebody who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the USS Riveria. Don't disappoint me. Right. Uh, actually, yeah, what's going to happen to Vega Colony? Unfortunately, the Renown and her task force were unable to repel the Borg. Vega is lost. Starfleet Command will meet with... Anyways. Unfortunately, the Renown and her task force... We're not able to repel the Borg. Vega Colony is lost. Starfleet Command... Clement? Oh, Lord. Starfleet Command will meet with the Federation President Anek Okeg and the Federation Council to determine our next steps. For now, Starfleet vessels will patrol the outskirts of the Vega system to ensure no Borg escape. Do you have any further questions, Lieutenant? No, but I'm sorry for the loss of Captain Taggart. Captain Taggart was a good man and a fine officer lieutenant. He knew what he was doing when he issued that order. Do not dwell on what happened. Your actions saved the lives of your crew, Do not to mention the civilians you were able to evacuate from Vega Colony. Now it's up to you and your crew to honor Captain Taggart's sacrifice as you carve out your own legacy. Do you have any further questions, Lieutenant? No, sir. What are your orders? Right. That completes that mission. And you will be assigned to the Klingon front, but first you could use some new equipment for your Riveria. For the Riveria. <sighs> Lord. I have some improved uh, consoles developed by Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. 
When you're done here, go see Durr's Rex to customize your starship's appearance. Good. Congratulations, Lieutenant. And we got Battlefield Commission, right? Hopefully, this won't be so bad. But, I think this is a good point to leave off before we go change our clothes and ship's appearances. And until next time, have fun, stay well, and always watch your six. Until next time.